Hello, dear friends. A warm welcome to the International Fab Talks. Thank you for being a part of our journey and thank you for enabling us to grow each day and bond with the common man, bond with the unsung heroes of the society. And my friend, it's a pleasure to have you with us every single day. It's not my friend, it's my friends. Yes, dear friends. It's a pleasure and a honor to have each one of you joining us, sharing your thoughts and views every single day. And today we have a special friend. And guess who it is? Our celebrity? Yes, you've guessed it right. He's Mr. M. Chidambaram from Chennai. He's back with us again to share his expertise and share the uh, space with us on the International Fab Talks. And I'd like to let you know that Mr. Chidambaram has been that unique person, that icon, who has made his contribution to the society in an elaborate way, inspiring many people across the, uh, across the globe, you could say, because his teachings have been spread far across Tamil Nadu, and to different states of India and across the world. Dear friends, he is also considered to be as the world's best trainer. And he has won this award, the world's best trainer award. Apart from this, he's also won the lifetime achievement award. Guess for what? For training, for mentoring and for training people. And he has conducted not eight, not 80, not even 800, 8,000 8, plus, I get that right. 8,000 plus training programs and has been inspiring so many youngsters to jump out of their comfort zone. How to overcome the challenges, how to overcome the bad times and keep yourself up, smiling and shining as usual. Hello, sir, and welcome to the session. Thank you. I'm privileged to come again. This is my part two. Yes. Welcome to part two, as I said earlier, my friend. So yes, if anybody's enabling you to grow in the right way, they become your friend for life. And yes, friends, we have today our celebrity who is going to be a great friend to you as well and make you enable uh, the talents hidden within you to rise out and face your lives. Dear sir, we'd love to know a little more about your experiences and hence we've invited you the second time for part two as well. And thank you for accepting the invitation and gracing the platform once again. Yes, sir. Dear sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Dear sir, I would like to know, and many of our viewers would like to know, what was the best book that you read or what was the thing that you saw that you still remember and which comes to your mind quickly? Either the thing that you read or the thing that you saw, if you would share it with us, a recent one at that. Yeah, I read these lines by a great poet. He said, Lock me in a room without food, I would live. Lock me in a room without water, I will still manage to live. Lock me in a room even without air, I will survive. But lock me in a room without a book, I don't think I'll live. On seeing this, I was, I thought, he's a great poet. Why did he write like that? Then something flashed here. I replied in that, through another poem. So I, I wrote, lock me in a room without a book. Within three days, there will be a book. And that book will be written by me. Wow. Great. This poem. Was... Thank you. This poem would not have come to me had I not read this. So your writing or speaking or interaction, somebody should inspire the receiver to go a step ahead. This is what some people say. An author starts the book. Readers like us come to the book. So this is what I read. What I read, it made me write a poem. What I saw, one of my best friends is uh, Mr. Inder Jitu. We were traveling to do a training program. Uh, on the While we were traveling, he received a series of phone calls. People asking him for help. Whoever asked him for help, he immediately responded by sending some amount through Google Pay, at least four or five. They were just watching. Then came the climax. A couple called me. I must tell about the couple to you before I... The wife was working, I think, as a teacher. I'm not very sure. Whatever salary he got, she had spent it on society for the upliftment of the woman in, the, in her locality. A slum converted into a government house. And her husband is a IT specialist. So she, they both... And what happened in that particular slum was continuous... Uh, what should I say, continuously uh, people committing suicide. 
and mostly they were widows. So they came out with a project to rehabilitate them by starting some vocational skills. They needed about a lakh of rupees to buy sewing machines and computers. On hearing this, my friend immediately he took them to a nearby mall and he bought them. I was stunned. I have seen people donate liberally, but he is not certain. I asked him, how is it you are able to do? He told me I am settled in life. I have family. They should have to take care of myself. Whatever I earn, I want to give it back to the society. That made me think. We were all created. We are all created. Not just to live for ourselves, but to help others live their life the way they deserve to. So that, that read and what I saw, at least if people feel like that, then many of us would be like Indrajitu and wipe out the tears and bring cheers in other people's face. Thank you, madam. Excellent. So it was an excellent sharing. Thank you very much. Even you brought out the greatness of your friend as well, who has contributed uh, to the upliftment of the people who really required help, who deserved help. Thank you so much for sharing. Dear sir, may we now know from where do you derive your strength and how strong and resilient you are till today and continuing this beautiful journey of training, mentoring and guiding the youth and others too. I, uh, before I tell my list of people who inspired me, uh, this one just now it struck me when you asked me. Once one uh, young man came to me for counseling. On that day, it was a very low day for me. I just kept telling a few of my issues to him. He listened to me carefully and when he left, he said, Sir, people like you should not lose their life. You must not lose the battle. He came for counseling and he counseled me. That is it. Sometimes even students have mentored me. Like a daughter can be a mother to her mother. But if you ask me in the real sense, many people have been my role models. As they say in English, no? the good, the bad, the ugly. To begin with, Mr. M.B. Nirmal, founder of Exnora. Mr. Abhay Kumar. Idayam Muttu Annachi, Krishna Sweets Murli, Kalyana Malai Mohan, Exnor and President Sendur Pari, Exnor and Mohan, then Sevalaya Murli, Indrajitu, Madipakam Subramanyam, and another is Rotarian Sridhar of uh, Olympic Industrials. If I talk about JCs, this interview would not be sufficient because there have been scores and scores of JCs and trainers who have shaped me. They have all been my role models in every way. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to thank them all, accepting them as my role model. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much, sir, for sharing all of that. Thank you so much. You've derived a lot of inspiration, your role models. You derived a lot of strength from them as well. I love this, sir, when you said, the person who came to you for counseling, he gave you a lovely word, a sentence, and he left. Would you like to repeat that, please, for us? If it's not you saying, to please repeat that for us in Tamil. First Tamil time, I say in Tamil, Ningala Totu Pokura, sir. That means you are you and all should not lose Very true. in life. I was surprised, no? He has counseled me. Thank okay. you. Indirectly, that's a great message to us, right? Sometimes when we feel low and lost, this beautiful line which that client of yours had shared will make us rise up again like a phoenix. Beautiful. I will tell you something if you permit me, madam. Yes, please. I was doing a session for Charter Account Institutes. The results were out on that day. You know, the past percentage of CA Institute is very low. So in a class of 50, only three or four or maybe five would really qualify. So when, the, when my class was going on, results were out online. So when the students keep quiet, they started clicking. And the class was going jal, 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 really galloping, flying. All of them enthusiastic, bubbling. But when the results came, of course, only three or four have cleared. They went, they went away. And it was a breakfast time. Some said they will not have breakfast. Some said we will go home. But 
I, I gave a break and spoke to them. I said, CA is something in life, but it's not everything. So have breakfast and come. We will discuss. Then we had full of activity mode and we went on as per the usual schedule. We closed at the exact time. They, and then many people said, thank God you came today, sir. We could forget our failure. And next day when I went to the same room for another batch, this batch which was going out, one of the boys came and told me, Sir, he is he's blessing me. So me blessing my students, the students because the way I handle them, make them forget their issues and be an, lead a normal life, making them accept failure. It's a great job, but somehow you could not pass. I told them, it is not denied. It is only delayed. Not only justice, sometimes your exam results also are delayed, not denied. Yes, sir. One more beautiful sharing. What a beautiful way to share that, right? Excellent. That's how, you know, we influence the people around us and be influenced by them as well. And many a times we've learned students have given back to their teachers, to their mentors and to the faculty. Like just how, you know, it's like vice versa. Many a times we've learned a lot from our students as well, yes. from our clients as well. A lot. Yes, sir. I agree on that. Dear sir, are you interested in sports and games? Yes, definitely. The East India Company came to India to trade, but they ruled us and they left two religions with us. One is, you all know, Christianity. The other one, cricket. George Bernard Shaw described cricket as a game played by 11 fools and watched by 11,000 fools. But today it has become a game played by 22 professionals, thousands of uh, strategists, thousands of corporates, thousands of marketings, and thousands of gamblers who all fool the 11 billion or 22 billion spectators. But cricket has given me so much. I am mad of cricket. When I was just studying 6th or 7th standard, I used to point and jokes, cartoons. I made it in a paper, a cyclo style, and I had distributed in a busy con city of Chennai. And some of them, I was just studying 6th or 7th standard. I started following cricket from 5th standard. Some of them even paid me money, 20 paise, 50 paise those days. I said, no, 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 said, no you deserve more. This my cook has watched me in the road. He came and told my parents. They shouted at me, you are son of an illustrious family. How can you do this? It took a long time. But let me tell you frankly, by listening to the commentary of English radio, it has improved my language and speaking skills. Now I'll ask you a question. Can a dog become a horse? Say yes or no. No. Say yes or no. Yes and yes. In the game called in the game called cricket. I take you back to 1983, when India were the underdogs of the World Cup, having been eliminated in the, in the uh, round itself, 75 and 79. They came as underdogs. But finally, they became the dog horse to win the World Cup, beating the mighty West Indies due to the great captaincy of the one and only Mr. Kapil Dev. From the jaws of defeat against Zimbabwe at 17 for 5, India never looked back. So India were underdogs. That's what I call dog. And dark horse, they won. So this has really told us how we can bounce back from the jaws of defeat to success. So it has got everything. But there are few people, it is there in any game. They do a lot of gambling and it affects the quality of the game. But otherwise, uh, it's one of those sports which I am really, I am, sometimes I can even say I'm obsessed with it. But only for, not, not in these commercial tournaments. At the international level, world level competitions, it brings a national spirit, isn't it? Or somebody from Kashmir, somebody from Kanyakumari, we're all Indians. This game has also <laughs> origins, all languages, the barrier has been removed. This, you would have seen the World Cup finals. What a great event it was. Thank you,
Yes, dear sir. Thank you very much, sir, for sharing all of that so beautifully with a lot of facts and figures to you shared that. That really makes sense. Thank you very much. Dear sir, what is it to be like a famous person? Am I a famous person? Of course. I don't know. Of course. Let, me Hi. Let me become first a famous person. I tell you. you are, what I've observed. You are. Right. You are. Anyway, uh, thanks for, for that honor you're giving me. I think you're too very kind to me. But I've observed a few famous persons. From their life, I can share how they would feel. One of the persons who is very famous is, uh, as I told you earlier, Mr. Muthu Nachi, the managing chairman of companies, from a mere two crores turnover when he took over in 1987 from his father, is now touching 800 crores. From two districts, has gone to 30 countries. So whenever we talk to him, when I, I call him on the phone during programs, he's ready to answer the call, though he is in a meeting. So he was simple. So when you become famous, he is humility personified, nobility personified. He has taken nothing to his head. He gives the credit to others. In his family, he gives credit to his wife, daughter-in-law, mother uh, and uh, daughter. In his business, he gives credit to his workforce or the, mar or the marketing team or the production team. So he never takes it to his head. He's down to earth. And he enjoys it that he is famous. But he doesn't show it through his words. He wants to become, contribute more, not to become more famous. When you contribute more, you will automatically become famous. I think that's what I think a famous person should be. As the Olympics motto, no? forward, upward, around world. That's how you should be. Thank you, man. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir, uh, for all of uh, that sharing which you shared. You've really made us emotional now and taught us humility. No, no matter how famous you are, never forget to have that simplicity and the humility to give back that same love and respect which you had been giving earlier before the rise. You know, there are many people who reach the top and forget everyone who are below. Yeah. And they have this ego. Yeah. They have that. Yes. Would you like to share I, something? You, yeah. You must not forget your roots, as you rightly say. And this gentleman, Mr. Muthu, he says, this is not a great achievement. Had I achieved... Uh, 10,000 crores, like one of my friends who was below me, and I've got 10,000 crores. Then I would call it as an achievement. Uh, famous persons don't consider their achievement as something they need to their head. In simple, that's it. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, dear sir. Thank you, sir, very much. Thank you. What makes you laugh the most, my dear sir? I laugh most six. Uh, when, when we make mistakes, others will laugh at us, definitely, isn't it? We would have seen Charlie Chaplin movies or Mr. Bean. Before others laugh at us, we learn to laugh at our mistakes. Making a mistake is not a mistake. Hiding the mistake is the biggest mistake. So why I said laugh it off? Uh, we must accept it. I am, I am a human person with error. I am not to error is human, as they say. So first, uh, laugh it off. Accept it. It's a, it's a, don't hide it. I don't, suppose I fall down. It's a mistake. I, I, I should not be lying down. I should really get up. The famous president of America, Roosevelt said, every time he was in a wheelchair, as, as you all know, said, every time I fall, I rise. So make a mistake, we fall. Before others will laugh at us. Before others laugh, let us learn to laugh. So I accept our mistake. Then get up. A man fell down the twelfth time. What time? Twelfth time. Mother Earth told him, you are the one who got up eleven times. Now also why you raised. Get up. So as Roosevelt said, every time you fall, twice. So when you fall down, find out why you fell down. Next time be more careful. And you get up, march your head, laugh it off, accept it as a part of life. And then go ahead. So you can either choose head or tails. Likewise, success or failure. When you make a mistake, don't cry. Laugh at your mistakes. They say, uh, humor consoles you for what you are. And imagination consoles you for what you are not. So, 
I use the sense of humor to accept my mistakes. And then what do I do? I visualize to achieve the success based on this funny quote. I don't know who told it, but I love it. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for sharing all of that so well. The more you fall, the more you have to rise. Like the mother said to the child, the 11th time you, fe you fell down 11 times and you got up back. This is the 12th time, rise up again. Yes, dear friends, you have to rise up after every fall. Don't give up till the last breath. Beautiful message, sir. Thank you very much. Dear sir, what is your strength? And what keeps you going? Uh, yes. Thinking first. I, I, more than reading, I think a lot. Because of that, I speak and write. Then I get along with others. Interpersonal relationship is one of my skills. Then the ability to think positively and bouncing back. But more than that, the sense of tolerance, the rich, the poor, any, and then acceptance. If you can, only if I accept you, you will accept me. For this, I have written three lines. If you permit me, I'll share. Yes, please. Regarding God. acceptance and talk. This is all religions are good, including mine. We should not leave out our religion, right? All languages are good, including mine. All of us are good, including me. Work on this premise wherever you go. You may be a pure vegetarian, but you will have a, somebody sitting next to you who is a non-vegetarian. You should not run away. You can't do this in a country other than India. You go abroad, you only have non-veg. So won't you sit with them? Would you not do business with them? Would you not make them as your partner? So this sense of tolerance and acceptance should be there. So this is my strength. I can accept anybody. Like they accept me. No? What is friendship now? Accepting the person as he is. When my friend accepts me with my mistake, I should also accept him with his plus and minus. Thank you. Perfect, perfect, sir. That's beautiful. I love the way you started off. Like your religion is great, mine is also great. Your language is great, mine is also great. You are wonderful and me too. That's a beautiful way to love yourself and you know allow others also to love you and in return, love others too. A beautiful example, sir. Yes, it's really a pleasure to always talk to you. No? Forget everything, forget the world and listen to you for a whole day. I think the remaining 364 days you're going to live perfectly. I think that I feel like that. That's how you get energized when you speak to our special celebrity. He's Mr. M. Chidambaram. He will really bring the best out of you and make you who you have to be in reality, not to give up. To be a bouncer, to Madam bounce Mr. back. Yes, sir. Join her. As you said, listen, so some of these uh, programs which I do for, for the institutes, they have a 15-day program. So they give only one day to each faculty. So sometimes when I go, they say, sir, uh, will you come the remaining 14 days also? I said, no, no, only one day. Others also have to contribute. They say, it's better you come all the 14 days, sir. So that is the impact you can create with any team, not only speaking, even the way you behave. Thank you. Yes, dear sir. Thank you very much. Dear sir, a very personal and professional question mixed together. How do you maintain your work-life balance? That is a secret. Yes. We all would like to have you share that secret today with us on this platform. Yes. First, uh, I will give, uh, not talk only from my point of view, what others have done and what I have also done. First, you have to support others. Then they will definitely support you. Number two, you must develop a second line who will be ready to take care in case you are not able to be present there. Where it. Number three, you must be in the place where it matters most and where your presence is must and you must give the best. If you are giving the best to your family, to your workplace and to society, they would not bother if you are not present with them always. Because by then you have trained some people to replace you when you are engaged otherwise. By doing it, you will enjoy every moment without guilt. For 
you have done your duty wherever possible to the best of your ability in all the three areas. I think I can broadly classify in three areas only. Four areas like self, second one family, third one workplace, fourth one society. So you will not feel guilty at all. So this plus in my case, I have a very supportive family right from my childhood till date. So my time that devoted to my family is not so much. My mothers, my sisters, my wife, my children, nowadays, and my sisters all took care. If you look at most of the celebrities, if you take Shivaji Ganesan, the great actor, he used to say, I did not know anything about my family. My wife will take care. So like that, if you have a wonderful support of families, comprising of family support, friends, colleagues, and well-wishers support to fall back upon, the demand on your time would be less. They will share your burden. And wherever it matters most, you will be there to give your best. And you will not have guilty when you're not there. But when it matters most, you must be there. If a man is getting married, he must definitely be present in the marriage hall. He must not be working overtime in his office. I hope you got my message. His presence is more required in the wedding, not in the office. Someone will take care of the office. Thank you, madam. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for explaining that so well with apt examples at the right time. You give out the right examples and that really makes sense. Yes, dear sir. Thank you very much. Dear sir, we have one question now for you. It's a request put in by many of the people who have heard you share your journey in, the, in part one. They would want you to share an advice, a nice advice for all of us, especially for kids. We'd like to focus here on the kids as to what uh, they want to hear from you. What advice will Mr. M. Chidambaram, sir, give us? They are eager to know th that, sir. Would you share the advice or a message for the youngsters? Yes. I wanted to share what Mr. Tendulkar had told to Virendra Shevak. Virendra Shevak, his, his role model idol was, uh, for, like most cricketers, Tendulkar. He said, I want to play like Tendulkar. But Tendulkar told him, don't like Tendulkar, play like Virendra Shevak. So, Picking on that, I would like to say, don't try to be anybody. Be yourself, but be the best of yourself. And finally, as a closing for this program, be positive. That's not only my blood group, but also my attitude. The only darker side of my life, friends, is my color. And even this color is fairer than your hair. If I am not as fair as you are, you are not as dark as I am. That is how I view life. I did want to become a doctor, but the university said, it's too much for you. Even though I am not a doctor, I wish to inject this positive mental attitude in each and every one of you. If you think you can, you can. Friends, nothing is impossible. All those who have achieved it, great heights, where people like you, they were all fumbling, they were all being defeated. They overcame everything. In the half moon lies the full moon. It is all a question of perception. The thorn which protects you, sorry, the thorn which pricks you, protects you when you use it as a fence. Yes. If you see life as a scope of challenges to achieve, you can achieve. But if you see it as fully problems, then you will be drowning in the problem. Thank you, ma'am. So, I wouldn't want to let you go. I would like to keep asking you a few more questions and carrying on this program on and on. I, I'm really uh, uh, in awe. In awe like, in, uh, like you have such beautiful thoughts and the way you present each of it in a very unique way. And it, it's not only touching our mind, it touches our heart and soul as well. And I would love you to reach out to many people. Many people should get to know about you and get and uh, transform their thought pattern that yes, be positive. Everything is possible if only you make your mind strong. And if you go ahead and surge into that, you will definitely be a winner. 
just like Mr. M. Chidambaran, who doesn't want to give up in life, but love, loves to continue and be positive in every situation. Sir said, my blood is also be positive. That's really very nice. And so I guess you've donated, I guess, no, you have donated a blood round about 89 times. Am I right? Yeah, we, we discussed that yesterday, right? Yes. We discussed it yesterday. Sorry, in part one, I'm sorry. Yeah. Not yesterday, part one. In part one. Yes, 89 times. times. You've been, yes, that's really nice. Apart from being a, mor a moral support to everyone, apart from the training, you are also saving lives. That's what I'd like to end the session with. But, uh, sir, not only makes you grow as an individual and you know change your thought pattern and brings up the inner spirit within you, he also has been saving several lives by contributing blood 89 times and ready to go still. So that's really nice, sir. Thank you very much. You're a brilliant uh, speaker and a wonderful, uh, what you say, a mentor and a role model for us, an inspiration for us. And today I have learned a lot. No matter how many times you fall down, rise back and laugh on your failures. Yes, even if you fail, laugh first before the world could laugh at you. And you've given brilliant examples and we are very much, I know, uh, it's like awesome and it is just fabulous. Thank you very much. We would love to have you on many more sessions and I'm going to be like, you know, you will be one day a very famous person and I will just call you, sir, I would like to speak to you and you will have to take up my call and say, yes, I'm going to join you on the Fab Talks and share my experiences again. And of course, sir, I've seen you also are so humble. When I connected with you over the past few days, while you were on, on your sessions, or whatever time, you lifted my call. You did not ignore the call. You have given me that due respect and love. That humility within you I have seen. As you've explained and given different examples, I have seen that you are a person filled with humility, love and compassion. Wanting it for yourself and for the world as well. Thank you so much, sir. Much appreciated. Before we end, I would like to hand over the session once again to you. If you'd like to share anything else, you're most welcome. Yes, sir. You are such a wonderful host. And your time for having me, sir. Take a few interviews, many interviews. No one has thanked me so much. Anyway, thank you. But uh, you said I picked the call. This, I have learned it from one person whom I said, Mr. Muttu. Yes, sir. He's a man who, whenever I call him, he picks the call. And if he's not able to pick the call, he say, I'll call you later. And he'll definitely call you. That is more yes. important. Many yes. people say, I'll call you later. I'll have to so have call me back. Yes. And he'll definitely call you. So this is the respect you must give. But at times there are situations when yes. I can't take the call. Respond to you, you might you do not know. And yes. there will be a small rift between relationships. So yes. this is such when he can do at his level. Why can't I do it? Yes, sir. So I, most of even I interacted with him, I was doing it, but he has reinforced my thought that uh, the, the uh, ringing phone is more important. Yes. So please give a one message, reply in for, word format or orally, whichever way you feel. Thanks. It was a great opportunity. I felt more comfortable at home with, with this great uh, uh, your initiative of yours. And I liked your. Uh, Thank you. Name also, international. That is attracting people. Your name is so attractive. And uh, people would love to listen to it because of the name only. Then comes, of course, the individual and the interviews. Thank you very much. God Thank bless you. you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. It means a lot. My dear friends, this is how you rise and lift others too. Thank you so much, sir. Much appreciated. Stay blessed. Stay, stay connected. Yes dear friends. And we wish all of you across India a peaceful day and lots of happiness. Thank you. Sir. Stay safe. Thank you.